So this is a little bit spur of the moment. I wasn't exactly planning to make this video like right this second, but as I'm over here Googling like, what are the chances that we're gonna get pregnant on this first go around? <laughs> Which, by the way, I'll save you the Googling. I found out there's a 30% chance the first month and a 60% chance or 60% of people that try, I don't know if that's different, um, get pregnant within three cycles. So, um, yeah, that if that's an indication. <laughs> um, so, basically, even though I feel like I know so many things about my body and when it's ovulating and how to get pregnant quick, um, there's just still kind of a slim chance <laughs> that it's going to happen this first month. And it's weird because in this two week wait period, so that's what this whole video is going to be about is that two week wait after you have sex and you're ovulating to when you like actually can figure out if you're pregnant or not. And like, what do you do in that window? And like, I don't know, just all the things. So if you're new to this channel, hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nicole. I am a pelvic floor specialist that is trying to get pregnant. Um, this is only our first week of trying, so I am by no means or have no right to be impatient at this point. With our first, it took us um, a year to have a successful pregnancy, so I I don't want to like get my hopes up too high, but I think as anyone that's tried to get pregnant knows, like it's impossible not to get like really excited and, you know, all the things about it. So anyways, the two week wait, let's talk about it. I took a few notes here. Okay. First thing I wanted to talk about is that you have this two week period when your egg has been ovulated and you're waiting for your missed period. Now I thought that the earliest you could take a, a pregnancy test was three days before your missed period, but apparently technology is better since <laughs> my first time around. So you can actually take a pregnancy test five days before your missed period. Um, which makes the window not quite as long, although still kind of like a nerve wracking wait. So that's the earliest you can take a test. And even if you take it at like five days before your period, there's still a chance it could be negative. And then as that the hormones showing pregnancy like get bigger, it might become positive. So I'm not a big fan of like taking early pregnancy tests because I feel like it's like, I don't know, it's disappointing if it shows up negative and it might be unnecessary disappointment because you could still be pregnant and then it just, I don't know, it makes the roller coaster of emotions just even more roller coastery. <laughs> so I don't prefer to do that. Sorry folks, I got cut off yesterday because I got too long winded, my phone died, then I had to pick up the kids. Anyways, finishing today, wanting to talk about some of the early signs of pregnancy. Now there's no exact science and some people will say like, my breasts were really swollen and that was my first sign. That's never happened to me, but definitely could be a sign of pregnancy. There were lots of people when I put this question out on Instagram, I got some really funny answers. They were like, I cried to Bluey and it wasn't even an emotional scene, which I think is a little kid's show. Um, different foods just sounded awful, like eggs. They eat eggs every morning and they suddenly sounded awful. Or they took a sip of beer and were just completely repulsed, even though they normally like beer. Um, different, like, uh, fatigue or being really tired. Someone was a runner and said, like, I went for a run and it was, like, a really crappy runner. And then I looked at my nails and they were really strong. And I was like, something's up. So it could be different for everyone. And there's really no, like, telltale sign. Oh, someone's had dreams. Like, I had really crazy dreams. Um, and I had a dream that I was pregnant, which is funny because I also had a dream. My husband also had a dream um, that we were pregnant. But we've been, like, thinking about pregnancy a lot. So I'm not going to take that as a sign of, like, oh, yeah, we're for sure pregnant. Either way, in this two week period, it's just like you can drive yourself crazy trying to like look into every little thing like, oh, is this a sign? Is this a sign? Maybe this means I'm pregnant. Do me a favor if you have like five seconds to spare, write in the comments one of the funniest things you've ever heard someone say was their early sign of pregnancy or you personally have experienced. I love reading comments like this. They just completely make my day. You might have some implantation bleeding between um, days seven and I think 12. 12 or 14, I'll put on the screen what the actual number is, um, which is like spotting basically. And it's basically when the egg like implants to your uterus, where it implants, there might be a little bit of shedding of the uterus, a little bit of bleeding. And so sometimes people think, oh, my period's going to start and then nothing happens. Um, this can sometimes be an early sign of pregnancy. Sometimes if you track your temperature, um, your temperature might either stay up or it might have a dip like one week after ovulation. So it's like it could go up, could go down. You know, it's just really hard to 
look at that and definitively say like, oh, for sure I'm pregnant. Really, you just have to wait until you can take that pregnancy test, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that long. But I have definitely been in the wait, in the eager waiting phase, and it is miserable. And my biggest piece of advice is to try to think about other things. Like maybe you have like a closet you've been trying to organize. Make that your task that you want to get done. Maybe there is something that you've really wanted to like accomplish. You've really wanted to like start this new workout program or like just you can pour into something else. Or maybe you're like, I want to go on this dream vacation and I'm going to start planning it. If you need some inspiration for vacations, you can check out this one over here. This is a little vlog about my pre-baby baby moon that I took. It's pretty fun if you're interested in that. Otherwise, good luck if you were in that waiting period. I feel you. I'm there with you. I'll see you all in the next video.